today we are going to discuss about types of processes in machine elements or you can say in machine components so we are going to discuss about the types of stress so first tensile stress second compressive stress third bending stress fourth direct shear stress fifth torsional shear stress sixth bearing pressure seven crushing stress and at last contact stress so these are the different types of the stresses that we are going to discuss in this video so let's start from the first tensile stress so from this figure you can understand if the load that is acting on the bar is tensile force then the stress produced in the element is known as tensile stress so here also you can understand if the load that is applying in the upward direction then this bar is subjected to the tensile load and the stress produced in the material is known as tensile stress so the definition of tensile stress when two equal and opposite axial pulling force so here you can see equal that means magnitude is equal opposite in direction this is in upward direction this is in downward direction axial that means the line of action of this force that is exactly on the axis of the road so here it is the pulling force are applied on a body then the stress is due to this force is called tensile stress and if i want to find the tensile stress then stress is equal to load that is acting on the road divided by normal cross section area so in the examination you have to write down the definition and you can draw the same figure in the 2d also now second compressive stress that is almost equal to the tensile stress but the direction of the load is instead of pull now it is push so when two equal and opposite axial pushing forces are applied on a body then the stress due to this force is called compressive stress so here only i have shown over here the image of the tensile stress only the change is one here it is the push here it is the pull so if i am going to apply the weight over here then this load is subjected to the compressive force and so that the compressive stresses are produced third one bending this is one of the figure of the beam where this is the neutral axis and above the neutral axis there is a compressive stress and below the neutral axis there is a tensile stress and due to that you can imagine that this is subjected to the bending moment in this direction and due to that the beam will bend like that so in the upper portion there will be the compression and the lower portion there will be tension and this compressive and tensile stresses are known as bending stress so due to that the bending will like that in beam so this is actually the cantilever beam in the lateral direction it will bend or it can be in vertical direction and this is a fundamental equation of the bending moment so the definition it is a normal stress that an object encounters when it is subjected to transverse load so here you can see that is perpendicular to the cross section that's why it is written over here normal stress when it is subjected to a transverse load at a particular point causing it to bend so any load in this direction that is called as the load in the transverse direction now fourth one direct shear stress this is actually the figure of the rivet joint and this is the rivet that is used to connect these two plates so if i am going to apply the load and so that the rivet will be shear off so this is for the single shear and this is for the double shear so if i am going to apply the load like that then this rivet will be shear off at these two places one and two and that's why it is called as double shear and here only at one place that's why it is called as single shear the definition when two equal and opposite forces so here you can see equal and opposite forces acting tangentially so that is tangent to this plate that's why it is called as tangentially across the resting section the induced stress is known as direct shear stress and if i want to find the 
value of that shear stress that means this load upon area that area is parallel to the load so here you can see this is the tangential force acting on the bar in the front view it is like that and so that it will deform like that now we for torsional shear stress so if any one shaft that is subjected to the torque then always the opposite torque that is reacted at the end but in opposite direction here you can see this torque that is in anti clockwise direction and this torque is clockwise direction and due to that the shaft will twist and so that the stress is produced in the material is known as torsional shear stress and the value of that torsional shear stress is exactly zero at the center and maximum at the surface so this is the torsional shear stress that is maximum at the surface and zero at the center and is linearly increased so these both are the twisting moment having equal magnitude but in opposite direction so i can say when two equal and opposite couples or you can say torque or torsional moment here you can see then the component is said to be in torsion and the shear stress produced is known as torsional shear stress and this is the fundamental equation of the pure twisting moment or torsion now transverse shear stress so that is also a very important shear stress that is actually i have not listed down the types of the stresses but this is also important so when a beam is subjected to shear force the stress induced in the transverse plane is called transverse shear stress so here you can see this is the beam and this is the cross section of the beam is subjected to shear force the stress induced in the transverse plane so this is the transverse plane and the stress produced that is known as transverse shear stress and the intensity of the transverse shear stress along the cross section is parabolic now six one is bearing pressure so a localized compressive stress at the area of contact between two components so these are the two components having relative motion between them is known as bearing pressure and the formula for the bearing pressure is compressive force so here you can see force that is acting over here, that is the compressive force upon projected area perpendicular to it so perpendicular to this direction that is called as the projected area so if you see from this direction and perpendicular to this direction what you can see the length of this beam multiplied by diameter of this beam and this is the front view so if i want to show over here the length and this is the diameter of the beam and so that i can say pp that is bearing pressure is equal to compressive force f divided by projected area projected area is what f into p example motion p is actually motion p rates of power square so this is another image the riveted joint so you can understand over here the bearing pressure Now the crushing stress, a localized compressive stress at the area of contact between two components having no relative motion. So this is very important. Between them is known as crushing stress or bearing stress. If these are the plates joined by any component or any link, but having no relative motion, then you can say it is a crushing stress. The formula is same: load upon projected area. perpendicular to that f so here f and the perpendicular to that that is this projected area and if you zoom out over here then this is the projected area now context stress so these are the different examples where the context stresses are produced but if you look at all this figure the important point is what the component having circular face so when two bodies with curved surfaces are in contact under a force Point or line contact between these bodies changes to area contact, and stresses are developed. These stresses are contact stresses. These are the different examples. So, thanks, my dear friends. Raise the like button to appreciate.